And now for another treat, a presentation about Fountain Hills resident, the late Charles Jules, and the night sky discoveries he made from his home in Fountain Hills. Ted Blank introduces us to this prominent local astronomer and the telescope he used to make those discoveries in our night sky. And one of the asteroids is actually named after our town, Fountain Hills. This is such an interesting presentation. And just in case you want to start searching the night sky for some discoveries of your own after you watch this presentation, stay tuned because our local librarian, Shelly Reddy, is going to tell us, share information about our telescope blending program. This is the story of Fountain Hills' own solar system sleuth, Dr. Charles Jules. Dr. Jules spent his retirement years searching with a telescope for previously undiscovered comets and asteroids right from his backyard here in Fountain Hills. He would roll his telescope out on rails from his living room into the backyard every night to take photographs of the sky. Right from his backyard, he discovered over 400 new asteroids and several comets with the 10-inch Mead telescope that you see in the photograph, which is on display in the River of Time Museum. With his Brazilian colleague, Paulo Halverson, he received the 2003 Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics Comet Award for discovering a comet. Asteroids are rocky bodies that orbit the sun with periods of between three to six years. Mostly they orbit in the space between the planets Mars and Jupiter, and this is called the main asteroid belt. Comets, on the other hand, are visitors from the distant cold reaches of the solar system, an area called the Oort cloud. They make long, slow journeys in, speed up when they get near the sun, swoop around the sun, and then head back out for many, many years to their icy lair before returning. Finding previously undiscovered comets and asteroids is not easy. The secret is to take pictures of the same part of the sky night after night and look for objects that have changed position from one photograph to the next. It's not easy to find tiny objects that move a small distance from night to night between two photographs. One of the things that Dr. Jules did with his colleague Paulo Halverson was to write software to automatically search photographs for objects that moved from frame to frame. After only three months of searching, they made their first major discovery, a comet moving through the sky, which was named Comet C2005N1 Jules Halverson in their honor. It was quite difficult to find. It was very dim, and it was moving through a portion of the sky that had the background Milky Way behind it. It was quite an achievement. In just 10 years of searching, Dr. Jules and his colleague either discovered or co-discovered over 400 new asteroids, which puts him 44th on the all-time list of asteroid discoverers. The discoverer of an asteroid is typically granted the honor of naming the rocky body. One of the asteroids discovered by Dr. Jules was actually named Fountain Hills. The citation in the Minor Planet Center discovery record reads, the town of Fountain Hills, Arizona, incorporated in 1989, is nestled in the foothills of the McDowell Mountains east of Scottsdale. It offers beautiful high Sonoran desert and mountain views, and it is home to one of the world's tallest water fountains, which can attain a height of 170 meters. The tilted blue ring describes the orbit of the asteroid named for Fountain Hills. Each moving dot represents its motion over a period of about six months. You'll notice that this orbit is highly tilted with respect to the solar system, quite unusual for an asteroid from the main asteroid belt. These two photographs taken 30 minutes apart on the 8th of August in 2003, represent the discovery photos for the asteroid named after Fountain Hills. Can you spot the object that is in a different place between these two photographs?
One technique for finding objects that move is called blink comparison. In a blink comparison, the two photographs are switched back and forth rapidly so that the eye can spot objects that move between two images. Can you spot the moving asteroid now? It's near the center of the image. There are also several other moving objects in this image which represent other asteroids which were already known and had names. We'll zoom in a little more here to make it a little easier to find the asteroid named after Fountain Hills. Now you can easily see how much the asteroid moved in the period of 30 minutes between the two photographs. Let's zoom in all the way to take a closer look at our namesake asteroid. Dr. Jules also has an asteroid named after him. The main belt asteroid number 20,135 was discovered by Paul Kamba in 1996 and named in honor of Dr. Jules. Thanks for watching, and please support our local dark sky advocates, the Fountain Hills Dark Sky Association and the Fountain Hills Astronomy Club. Thanks for watching. Please do your part to help keep Fountain Hills Dark Skies dark. Use fully shielded light fixtures. Use only the amount of outdoor light needed. Use warm lights of a color temperature of 3000 Kelvin or below. Avoid light trespass by not letting your lights shine onto neighbors' properties or up into the sky. And of course, have fun stargazing on your own or at a star party sponsored by the Fountain Hills Library and the Astronomy Club. Like Charles Jules, you too can explore the night skies from the comfort of your home. For a week at a time, you can use an Orion Starburst Telescope to view the moon, stars, planets, and other amazing nighttime sights. The library's website offers a portal where you can access all of the library's electronic resources. This includes millions of audiobooks, ebooks, music, videos, TV shows and movies, plus over 300 online classes and resources for the kids. To get started, click on eMedia to access our electronic libraries. Hoopla is an immediate availability electronic library and one of my personal favorites. Instead of waiting in line, everything is available right away. To get started, you'll have to log in using an email. We often recommend using the same email that's on file with your library card. But once you're in, you'll have access to an amazing collection. Some of the features will include popular PBS titles such as Nova. One of our newest electronic resources is a video streaming service known as Canopy. This offers popular release feature films documentaries, and independent and foreign films, including film festival winners. I've even found titles going back to the silent film era. It has a wealth of resources and is fantastic for teachers. And Canopy also offers access to many of the great courses video collections. These include popular science and astronomy titles that'll allow you to explore the universe from the comfort of your own home. And if you'd like to learn more about astronomy, Overdrive, also known as the Greater Phoenix Digital Library, or Libby, offer hundreds of astronomy books. These are available both as audiobooks and ebooks. If you have a tablet, smartphone, or a computer that downloads applications, then once you download an app, the library is just a click away. But the electronic libraries aren't the only resources. If you check under the Research tab, you can find over 150 different databases. 
And we have a special section specifically for homework and test help. These include print resources that have been scanned so that they're available in a digital format, as well as high quality peer reviewed resources specifically for kids. These are fantastic for independent research, as well as providing tips or opportunities for adults to help out those kids in our lives and find some fun kitchen table experiments. Well, Debbie, that concludes segment two of our virtual Dark Sky Festival. Next up, if you're watching sequentially, is a segment on our wildlife and how light pollution affects them. You'll want to round up the kids for this one. But don't worry, like I said before, we'll keep the links on our website uh, for the foreseeable future. And even if you can't watch the entire festival today, you can always come back to watch at your convenience. Many thanks to our galaxy sponsor, Toll Brothers. Our star sponsors are Shea Donnelly and McDonald's. Our planet sponsors are Paul's Ace Hardware and Republic Services. Our asteroid sponsors are the Fountain Hills Chamber of Commerce, Flying Flowers Butterfly Garden, Automotive Research, and the NPOA.